this is Angela with ATG Technical Support, and today I'd like to show you how to change your Autodesk software licensing or deployment type from network to standalone with the sign-in activation type. Uh, the reason we show this is because Autodesk is transitioning everyone from the multi-user or network license model to the uh, standalone or uh, named user model. And so rather than reinstalling all of your products, it's a lot easier just to reset the licensing or switch the deployment. Um, so the way that you do that for 2019 and earlier is what we're going to be focusing on today. So if I open the Windows File Explorer on the end user's computer, and I go to the C drive and go to Program Data, and you'll notice it's a hidden folder. If it's not showing up, you have to go to the View tab at the top and Show Hidden Items. Checkbox right here. And you'll see it disappears when I uncheck it and reappears when I check it. So it's C Drive, Program Data, Autodesk, CLM, LGS. Now in here you have a list of folders. The first five digits in the folder name are the product key. And then after the underscore you have the release year. So all 001s are going to be AutoCAD. So this tells me this is AutoCAD 2019, for example. So the first step to switching from network down to the sign-in named user model is to change the deployment file that lives in this folder. It's an lgs.data file. You can either right-click and open with Notepad and modify it change it from underscore network to underscore user, uh, and then hit Save. Or what you can do is create the file in advance. So you just open a new notepad, go to File, and do Save As. At the bottom, the Save As type, you want to be All Files. And you just name it lgs.data. Save it. Now the code inside of here is going to be underscore user. So just save it with underscore user. Then all you have to do is replace the existing file with the new file that you just created. So I'm going to find my file that I just created. All right, there it is. So I'll copy lgs.data, and I'll just come here, and I will right click and paste it. And then when it asks if I want to skip or replace, I'm just going to say replace. So then when I open AutoCAD 2019, it will ask me to sign in. And that's how you switch the deployment from network to a standalone sign in for Autodesk software releases 2019 and earlier. And you can just paste over all the existing folders that you want to change and replace it and then you're all set. Thanks for watching.